Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to your daily update on Fetch. Um, we'll do a full update again. We'll talk about some fundamentals, even though the fundamentals, uh, well, there's not much to talk about, uh, to be fair. Um, there's more to talk about regarding the technicals of Fetch. Um, uh, technically, we actually got a nice bump yesterday evening, uh, while the market in general also got some nice bullish momentum. And what we talked about quite often in the, in the last couple of videos I did on Fetch is that, you know, if we actually get a, a breakout above 1.23 and 1.25, that's when we can rally. And we got very, very close to that yesterday. We did not break out fully, as you can see. We never got the four hour time frame candle to close above that. Uh, but there is some sort of an uptrend here and there is some great activity. Uh, so we'll talk about that. Now, I'm not certain what I want to start with. I mean, in general, look, the thing is with, with Fetch, um, kind of in general, is that at this point of time, we're still waiting for new information on the whole Fetch to Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance uh, transition, right? Because obviously Ocean, Ajax and Fetch got into one crypto. Uh, but at this point of time, that one crypto is still Fetch. At some point of time, that will be ASI. I think, um, look, behind Fetch and behind these AI projects, there's a ton of other uh, businesses and other projects that actually, uh, you know, can profit off of the price action from, from Fetch. So what I think they're waiting for is the I ideal timing in terms of the market. And the market right now, look, this is the first real week after summer. Volume is returning. That's great. Uh, we're also seeing the, the first signs of some bullish momentum but I don't think it's a timing yet. So once the market actually becomes a little bit better, once it becomes healthier, once more people are, are, are in it, then I think we'll have more news updates on that. For now, I, I think it will remain fetch. Unfortunately, because the whole process, in my opinion, is, is just a, has just been a little bit confusing. Um, but all right, so, so that's something we'll have to wait for. Technically though, I am quite interested in fetch. Um, I still think if you look at the market structure here, we are consolidating. The EMAs are still flat here. Uh, and mainly, look, I, I drew this trend line kind of for the, th for, for the, for the, for the thumbnail. Uh, because even though I, I do think a breakout is a possibility for Fetch, and that's also, in my opinion, the, the, the main opportunity here, I'm not convinced that we will. And the main reason for that is, and I'll, I'll tell you, of course, otherwise I wouldn't say it, the main reason is, is that every time that Fetch actually turns bullish, for example, right here after the 19th of August, every time that Fetch does that, we actually gain a ridiculous amount of momentum as well. And that's not happening right now. All right. So here you can also very clearly see it. You can see the open interest is, is rallying and it's continuously and it's sustainably bullish. And what we have right now is that here and there we have a spike, right? So, so that's also when Fetch turns a little bit more, more bullish and we try to get a bullish breakout. Um, but what also happens is that the momentum drops back down or there's a lack of momentum. So as long as the open interest, as long as the momentum stays down here and there's no uptrend and there's no, no real momentum in the open interest, I, I don't think we'll break out. We might spike up a couple of times more, but we will not rally. So that's the main thing I'm waiting for. Um, that's this move right here. That's what I'm waiting for. I think we, for that to happen and for us to catch that and for me to, to have enough confirmation to actually buy Fetch, we need to not only break above 1.25 because like I said, we could also spike above that and it, it could turn into a fake out, but we need to break above that while I see a start of new bullish momentum in, uh, in the open interest. That's when I'll buy. Until then, I just expect that, that we will, you know, remain stable but that will just consolidate here and have some spikes up and down um, um, uh, here and there, but that we will not have any definitive bullish move. Those are my thoughts for today. All right, so if you do have any questions, of course, like I said, uh, let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you all in my next uh, updates. Bye.